Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of self-improvement with sue. I am of course sue I hope you guys are having a great week or weekend whatever day that you're watching this on I realized from my last videos that I have been literally yelling into the mic. So apologies for that <laughs> Yesterday was my boyfriend's birthday and we went a little hard. So I'm no makeup on right now in bed Let's go ahead and dive right in today's topic is developing your emotional intelligence I'm gonna be sharing tips for improving your emotional intelligence and how to just build better relationships through that. I feel like I've always felt older in my head than I actually am. In high school or college, I was always hanging out with older people. I mean, all my friends now are like years older than me and are having kids and are married already for the most part. If I'm 22 now, whether that be 24 or 30 or 40, I just find older people who have that maturity level are just so much cooler and easier to be around and easier to talk to. So emotional intelligence, what exactly is it? What are we talking about here? Emotional intelligence is the ability to understand, use, and manage your emotions positively positively is the word we're focusing on today <laughs> so why this is so important is going to strengthen all of your friendships and your relationships just because you will know how to clearly communicate what you're feeling and what you need in an exact moment it'll help you better communicate with the people that you care about or the people that you have to deal with every day here are my top five tips for developing your emotional intelligence Number one, self-awareness. We need to practice mindfulness, and I know that's so freaking stupid, but like I said in one of my last videos, I think it's putting your phone away, realizing what emotions you're having, realizing how you're doing throughout the day, even if it's just 10 minutes before you go to bed, and instead of watching your show, you're reflecting on your day and saying, oh, how did I feel today? And whenever you are having a strong moment, I think it's a really good practice to step back and say oh why am i having such a strong emotion i think it's just important to recognize where your feelings are coming from and just being self-aware of if you are more of an emotional person where your anger spikes really quickly and you just can't help it or you get really upset and you cry whoops sorry as my boyfriend um i cry a lot to him so <laughs> For me, I would say journaling, like even in my notes app, sometimes the words come out when you're typing, you don't always know what to say. So if I'm having a really strong emotion, let's say negative emotion, I'm angry at someone at my workplace, I will go to the bathroom and I will open up my notes app and I will say, blah, 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 so-and-so is so rude. I hate the way that they blah, blah, blah. I'll write out all the nasty thoughts that I have in my head so I don't have to say them out loud. And then you can process that and go back to work and say, oh, it's really not that big a deal. You know what I'm saying? Number two tip is self-regulation. The crucial key of being emotionally intelligent is stopping and thinking before you react. I feel like I learned this in my romantic relationships especially is if i am mad at my boyfriend which we live together i take a step back and depending on how mad i am or what i'm feeling exactly i feel like just taking even like a five minute breather just to walk around and say okay i'm not actually that mad about anything and i love this person and it's not worth getting mad at them but then i'll wait a day or two to actually talk about it and say oh this is why i was frustrated because you don't always know in the moment so also i am someone who gets really angry or embarrassed and my face turns red so i have to like turn around and take a breath so i can collect myself just walk away you know like meditate i guess for a second but mine's just like breathing being like everything's okay all right number three my third tip is motivation i would say that it's hard to consistently be emotionally intelligent if it's not like a pattern already and you're trying to change something about yourself it definitely helps to celebrate those small achievements my face didn't turn red and i walked away and i took a breath that was really mature of me I have to get in the habit of saying like pat ourselves on the back because that was really good and i don't usually act that way and i just broke the cycle not saying that you're perfect now but like you broke the cycle and you can keep doing what you're doing now. This is a big one that I feel like our society maybe lacks nowadays is empathy. Um, I know there's a lot of like self-proclaimed empaths out there and I am one of them. <laughs> Fully paying attention to what people are saying. Like if somebody, if you're trying to tell somebody something and they're on their freaking phone or like ADHD distracted, like looking at a bird over there like, hello, are you even listening to what I have to say? So why can't we be active listeners and put our full attention into somebody else, our relationships, our friends that we're trying to focus on to make them feel important? Like we want to feel important as well. And that doesn't just mean being an active listener, having the silence enough where 
they have room and time to talk and don't feel like they're being rushed and don't feel like they're being judged. Just having an open, safe space with your friends and family, then they'll actually want to like open up to you. And number five, my fifth tip is social skills. So I know this one is kind of weird, but let me try to explain it the best I can. Especially working in the retail industry, I have realized that people don't care. It's so important to be clear and assertive and respectful whenever you're talking to somebody and less is always more. And let's show appreciation, you guys. Let's be nice. Let's say thank you. Let's say please. Let's be uplifting and let's make the world a better place because it's so hard with everything that's going on. It's just so frustrating sometimes to keep a positive mindset from day to day. So smile at somebody. Tell them they look pretty. Live in the moment, you guys. That's the, that's the overall message, I guess. But emotional intelligence has definitely helped me with all of my relationships. It's never too late to start working on your emotional intelligence. It just helps you be liked better, honestly. It just makes things easier in your life. It will make all of your relationships easier, your work relationships, your actual relationships with your significant others, your friendships, and you'll start to understand people more whenever you say, oh, what would I want this person to do in my situation if I was talking to them right now? I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a like, um, subscribe for me. I don't know if I should keep doing these, if I shouldn't. Um, I got a couple haters on my last little short there, so I guess I'm making it, like, right? I love you guys. Uh, please stay safe, healthy, happy, and let's develop our emotional intelligence, shall we? Bye.